Hello, welcome to the DOD mail room, a charge conductor. We're here to show you some drawings today. Show you what our actual freight train looks like. All right, that we've been to not designing. Here's a series nine. And then this would be our freight train. This is the um, right hand side. This is the left hand side. Notice this spot right here. Here's a handrail. That's your heater assembly. It has a door. Comes around to the back. Another door. Here is the back caboose engine operating room. And here is the floor plan. Fuel tanks, engine, alternator, main generator, battery, control panels. Um, that might be a sand pit. This might be a heater, a battery. Um, we're deciding on whether or not to use a Cummins engine there, which I won't draw. All right, so once again, zooming out, you see the picture of the locomotive. Here's the front. Shows the walkway, the little stairway goes around just like this. Comes around. Engine room number two. Another door. Other side. Back in. Alright, this has uh, if our engine was split in two, if we had two engines, what our electrical drawing would look like. We'd have a uh, we have the X-type motor, so here would be a 16-cylinder plus a 16-cylinder probably reserve and scavenger oil in the pump. And then over here would be your voltage regulator. It comes along this path, goes back into the other cab. Um, notice that the uh, main generator is on a circuit. So the main generator is exciter field. That way you can run it all in one electric. And then if you had to do it single ones, here's what it would look like on this end. Um, you're uh, going to resistor rheostat, traction motors. And then if you want to mirror this, you notice how this is excited field, excited field. And then uh, ground and circuit breaker to the parallel circuit and voltage regulator. And then we have the tracing paper that we used. Uh, I don't know how good this is. Like, all right, if you didn't like it that way, you can have it. Uh, let me see here. This way, with the voltage regulator up there. And uh, so that's our two, two, Two split engine parallel circuit for the main generator, alternate generator. Then there we have to uh, design a spot for the SKO air pressure um, or the Yak engine, which some like to call it, and those has some horns. And then we're going to show you a radiator. Um, all right, what we got here is the radiator roof. Um, over the top Some nice little fan shrouds Then like it goes in and the heater core goes up uh, a little spout into the this is shaded for the radiator core radiator core three Three different ones you got this this would be a fill pipe up here like uh, right here we got another radiator fan. Fan shroud. Fan over. Alright, so you got this electrical fan. You got your radiator core. Okay. We got some crazy ones that look like this. And then I have some stuffed away. They look like a light bulb, but some of them are like this. So what I did is I said, okay, here's a magnetic core with a shunt going to a rectifier bridge, rheostat. These are all tripping different ones, so we'd be like 100 ohm, 10 ohm, uh, 1 ohm, right? 
Then it goes into the winding or the positive negative of the uh, fan. It comes around here. All these circles are just a different voltage. So it comes around, then it connects, and then it goes through a different magnet core shot and rectifier bridge. Back all the way over here to a double throw switch. I always used to like to use the double because it's a lot safer, and then the ground. Um, that does it for that. Now we're going to try to do some of the engine heater core pictures, and then we'll come back in another book, building book, book uh, engine heater cores. All right, let's see what we got here. Engine heater cores. All right, this is a uh, fireman's heater. Notice I pointed out the engine heater in the last one. So your engine heater for the uh, front cab is uh, right here, right here in this spot, right here. So it's easily accessible to the cab. It looks like this. Notice you can see a fan, fan shroud, um, radiator, cooler, pipe, heater, maybe a thermostat, thermos, you know, dehumidifier. And then this was our double oil, the double engine oil pump. So this is the difference between the oil line and which looks like this over here. So we got put in the SK motor. I don't know what I'm going to do for that yet. Um, all right, let's see the back. And then we'll have the fireman's heater for station number two in the back here. Got plenty of space. The space right here, the space right here, maybe auxiliary generator. Uh, uh, fireman's heater assembly. We have an auxiliary air, so I can use the wipers back here, horn, bell, magnet valve. Um, all right, this has been a show from Char Conductor. Next time we'll be talking about electrical conduity and uh, our truck, our truck frame. All right, this has been a charger conductor a purpose for the intelligent railroader thank you bye